admittedly that was god awful. That was more like a spit take than anything else, but I don't know. <laughs> We're still working with it. So good morning, welcome back to Ken Shaving and BSing. It is a glorious Friday. It will be a small crew at the office. As long as they can get the connection issue with my computers fixed, it will be a great day. Uh, that was a little uh, Triple H the game entrance for you. Kind of sucked, sorry. <laughs> so what are we shaving with today, kids? Well, today, thanks to uh, Lee, Leroy, Nomeo here on my page, he asked me, uh, would you mind uh, throwing down some samples from the swag bag in the Big Shade West? I said, hey, great idea. I've been meaning to get back to some samples that Lucid Coded sent me from uh, Henri Victoria and Soapy Bathman. I've been negligent because I've just been using everything else under the sun. So today we're going to go with a sample of Cooper and French Amer uh, American Barber, no, Authentic Barbershop. Pays to read labels, Ken. And um, I've got, I've scooped out some in, in the bowl here, so we're going to pause it a bit and, bowl, and I'm going to get a bowl lather going, at least get the brush nice and loaded. Uh, we're shaving with the Above the tie, S1 slant with a Kai blade after one shave. I'm gonna chase it with a little, the shave works the cool fix as I drop it. Thank God for plastic. Uh, Lavender Thayer's Witch Hazel. Tiege Hanley, if I have enough AM moisturizer, if not, I'm gonna go to the Kiehl's uh, backup. And then, just because it's a barbershop scent, so it's not really scented heavily at all of anything. It's Friday, it's going to be a little fun. Let's go with a little Phoenix Arsene Accoutrements Aloha Smackdown. This is an insane scent. It is Tropical Punch. And if you can figure by Aloha Smackdown, you can figure which Tropical Punch they're alluding to. That'd be Hawaiian for those who don't. with you. Alright, so um, I'm going to pause, wet the face, get this lather going. We'll be back and we'll start getting the face uh, foamed up here. One second. Alright, well, we've worked up the bowl lather here. This is a Through the Fire Fine Craft bowl. And, man, it is cushy. I mean, good peaks on it. That's a thick piece of soap that broke off. Um, but, Good peaks, good lather. So, let's uh... This is a slightly different scent from Mike's. Mike's to me smells also like Soap Commander Honor. Um, OSP is different because it has the cedar note. This is not a CAD or American blend style barbershop scent either. I don't know, because I haven't read up on Cooper and French, so I don't know what notes are comprising its barbershop, but... Maybe I should start bowl lathering. Maybe I, some of you idiots who think I can't lather would shut up. Well... Thankfully, those idiots aren't around anymore. But, this is definitely cushy <laughs> lather. A brush today, in case you didn't notice, is the uh, Razor Rock 24 mil Plus Soft uh, Barber Handle Italian Flag. Uh, Italian flag, barber handle, whatever you want to call it. Now, like, I've seen Cooper and Friends reviewed by Rudds, Jason Rudman. If you don't already watch Jason Rudman, go to his channel. A lot of you do, but if you don't, uh, he does uh, straight razor, but he has head shaved with DEs, mostly. Uh, I don't know if he does any single edges. I forgot, Reds. I'm <laughs> sorry. But, uh, a lot of soap reviews. Alright, now picking with the soap. Had the blade, I had a little cup with warm water here on the side, so 
way it is warm. I got cold water in the sink. You know what? I'm gonna. I was gonna do this too. Here's the Brass Colonial General. Uh, this is just for. Leveling sideburns before. I don't want to use the slant and then jack up the sideburns, which I'm not a very adept at sometimes. I got to talk a lot with uh, Stan and Matt, his son-in-law, from Above the Tie during the Big Shave West because we hung out a lot. We were in the same hotel and great folks you're buying quality when you buy above the tie now i bought this from david munoz because he sold it to me this is two days growth also by the way Slickness is good here. Um, cushion's good. The scent's nice. It's light. It's clean. In that barbershop wheelhouse, three most uh, ambiguous terms of wet shaving have to be fougere, barbershop, and... Oh, crap. I the, oh, sandalwood. In my in my opinion, those are the three that I see the most. Like, what's this one? No, I, I think oh, it's, I think I think sandalwood. You know, I think uh, art of shaving. Somebody thinks uh, tobs. You know, for example. Um, There's 8 million types of fougere variations out there, it seems like. Mostly very good. <laughs> but Brut is even a fougere. Let's say, so great residual slickness. We're going to definitely need three full passes. So let's go back to the bowl here. So if they didn't break down, I, I figured out a, scooped out with my finger, I should say, uh, a decent amount and put it to the bowl. And particles broke off, so I didn't, I didn't, because I didn't get them worked in, but I got, I got a lot of lather anyway, so I may use this again. Well, I will use it again in the bowl. in some here. A chunk of soap in there. All right. I'm going to go across the grain.
Uh, excuse me. I'd say really good residual slickness. Ugh. Scent is pleasant. It's just, it's a different barbershop, but it's not an odd one. It's just clean. It's kind of fresh for a barbershop. It's not cologne -y and it's not powdery. And it's... This one may, in a future state, <laughs> Because I have so much. <clears throat> this may be, have to be a buy, for real. Oh, hello. Like a full up tub sometime. Really enjoying this scent. I'd say great residual slickness. Comfortable shave. I think this, the ATTS one slant is probably my favorite. As much as I've, I've grown to like my others a lot, like the, uh, especially the, um, the Phoenix shaving bake light is a great one. Shavecraft 102 from Icon. By X3 from Icon. Because I didn't know this because I didn't know what I was talking with Stan while we were out at California. And he says, since the blade gap isn't massive, it's it's not as big as you think. And plus, it's the blade's well held, so you don't get chatter at all once you lock it down. Um, it's not a massive gap or exposure, but it doesn't. Because he doesn't, he doesn't also crazily torque the blade, so it still gives you the cutting action, but it's not these extremes, so to speak. So probably it's the most comfortable slant I own, and I'm glad I bought it. From David. And the quality of the razor, and then talking with Stan and Matt, I mean, not that I had any misperceptions about um, the people they are, you know, so it wasn't like that. I just now getting to meet them and talk to them in person
I certainly would. I'm considering getting like a maybe a, a, a headset for a regular and replacing some of my razors. Yeah, you because know, I got a Merker and Edwin Jagger, a few others. You know, and I could just replace a good chunk of them. Oh, usual weeper spot. I think that was a bump more than... <clears throat> yeah, it's a bump. It wasn't an actual weeper. Yeah, it's a bump. Yeah, slickness, residual slickness is great with this stuff. I really. Okay, we're going to do a little Paul H. Peck neck pickups here. Okay, now I'm opening up around my lips a little. which is sadly a common spot for me. So we're gonna go off camera once we do these pickups and try to clean those up before we uh, come back. All right, all right, let me go off camera. I'm gonna hit up the album block. I'll give you the results. Rinse, get some fresh water, and we'll be back. So, need to rinse the block off, but um, how's the sting? Yeah, not bad. Good shave. I'm pleased with it for sure. Um, so there's a little rinse off of the album. Got those weepers to close. Go in with uh, Lavender Witch Hazel. It kinda, you know, doesn't really go with, this has been in the fridge. Um, uh, it goes nicely with them because it's barbershop scent, so it's not really anything different necessarily. It's mild, of course you know it fades, so I'm gonna let that dry down a little. All right, and since we did do three passes with a slant, let's uh, do a little cool fix. Just to calm any areas down that might be. All right, 
Good, good. Let that absorb for a second. Before we do our aftershave, let's do the All right, let's see what we got left in the... Yep, last, last day of it. Now I have a bunch of scrub and... Well, some scrub and PM moisturizer left. And some eye balm. <laughs> so, still holding off on re refilling. All right. Now, just because, and now my hands are all slick. Arms looking good, whilst you know, losing weight. <laughs> this is just insane smelling. It's, you'll get cherry, you'll get other stuff, but when it, it's Hawaiian punch. It's an insane, is it a novelty? Yeah, probably, but if you smell the other oddities from, you know, Phoenix shaving, like dirt. Dirt was amazing. It smelled like fresh potting soil. And it was a soap. You're supposed to pair it with foo, his foo fougere, but people didn't get it, so you, you know, demand came for a matching. And I love the aftershave. And, you know, knocked some chunk of soap on the floor. All right, thank you so much, kids. <sighs> Remember a couple things. Watch out for the school buses, school zones. Drive, drink, uh, stay safe, drive safe. Don't drink and drive. Um, it's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about control and if you can, if you can take it. No. That's nice. ah. Well, you know what? It's all about pain and who's gonna take it. I am the game. You don't want to play me. I forgot the lyrics offhand. I used to, I used to know them, but I'm just blanking. Have a great day, and I will see you. Who knows when I'll see you? No later than Monday morning. So let's just work with that. I'll talk to you later, kids. Bye.